run one back because that was a fast one. I am financially ruined. <laughs> Casino 3 about to begin. Congratulations for your points, believers. I mean, we're, we're rolling, man. Next run. I think that's Tainted Bethany to Blue Baby. I haven't played Tainted Bethany in 200 years. Start prediction. Will NL accomplish his objectives? Submission period one minute this time. Here you go. Have you ever been to La Belle Provence? I have. I've, I've eaten a smoked meat sandwich with a side of poutine at La Belle Provence. I don't remember much of it. I, it, I believe I had a cup of Boreal with it. Sounds pretty good to me. Tainted Bethany, Lemington. Blood power, weaker items. Weaker items? Since when? You're certified French Canadian? I'll take it. Camo undies? Rip. Will we get a, a hot song remix today? Honestly, I gotta slow down on the Yuka Yu remixes. There were people who were genuinely upset. And like, in the moment, of them being upset, I was like, I don't care. But then when I looked at the stream summary and saw the dip in the graph, when I started remixing Super Mario 64 with the Yuka Yu, have you ever had a dream 1.25x speed? I was like, you know what? I've decided to become a man of the people again. <laughs> I, I gotta acknowledge, not everybody's like me and thrives in the chaos. Like if I joined a stream and they started trying to do that, I would be like, this is the best thing on the platform. But there's, and I'm not trying to knock it, okay? But there's a people out there that are like, oof, my comfort streamer. Like, this is, I literally have to turn the stream off right now. And in the moment after I've already done that irreparable damage, I am just like, whatever, leave then. But afterwards with a sober mindset and when it hits me in the pocketbook, I'm like, you know what? That wasn't cool. Despite that, I will say if you left, you missed probably the song of the of the autumn. I, it's not the song of the summer because summer ends today. It's the song of the autumn, though. I would say. How does the, how does the Super Mario sixty four save music go again? Hold on, hold on. Super Mario file select music. Okay, one one moment, please. One moment. Oh. Oh, dude. I can't, I, I, there's no way I'm stopping before we get to the bridge. The key change. Oh, man. That, that's the, I mean, that's gotta be one of the greatest pieces of video game music ever created. When you see pan flutes in public, why are they not playing this at all times. They're always trying to play like a pan flute version of Despacito. You gotta do the do 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 Now, now remix some Yuka Yu. Yuka da Yuka Yu. Yuka da do do do. It's not bad. I'm trying to save a Lemmington for possibly like a secret room. You ever yuka you? Have you ever had a dream? A dream that you yuka you? <laughs> I yuka yuka you? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. But it, it's a bop though. Oh, right. Pick up red hearts. I forgot. You got to pick up these red hearts. <laughs> I don't. So many people. I, I don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole, but so many people wanted me to play the David Guetta Gueta. Um. The, the, I don't even know what you'd call it, the clip of him being like, this one goes out to the family of Martin Luther King Jr. and then he plays the hamster dance, even though it's not really the hamster dance. Shout out to his family. It's so bad, man. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. It was George Floyd. You're right. You're right. Oh, it's it's the fact that it's Martin Luther King's I have a I have a dream speech that's then remixed after that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, thank you for the Lemmingtons. 
Stop spamming your space. I'm in your space. Vin Diesel. My comfort streamer. Oh no. Oh yeah, we didn't make it. We didn't say anything uncomfortable. All we did was go. You could do, could do, 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 do. You could do, kid, do. You could do, kid, do. You could do, kid, do. Forty-two cents on the first floor. That's right. Look, I mean, dude, look at this. We're we're balling. Let's go back to the secret use secret room and use my lemmington. No, let's use my lemmington on a yeah. Let's use my lemmington on the secret room. Missing no, well, lost soul. Missing page two. Keeper sack. Hey, keeper sack, kind of sick though. I don't know what's gonna happen on this next floor, but <laughs> here we are. Sorry, keeper's elbow. Keeper's elbow. I'm buying it. No sweat, man. I'm buying it. Look at the stats. Lost soul is so cute. I just hope it lives, but then it, I'm like, it won't even live, right? It'll get re-rolled again. Once we... Let's not worry about it too much. Um... <laughs> it walked into the... It walked into the fire. I didn't walk it into the fire. It walked into the fire. Stupid. Trash item anyway. In your next life, I hope you are a cow on a trush farm. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm, because missing though is going to reroll our whole freaking run, right? But we only have three items, and they're not like that good to begin with. So I'm like, maybe we do want to, I mean, we could like walk. We could, we could use a bomb to blow up missing though or something like that. I don't know. Maybe we'll just try to lose all of our wisps and then. Missing no, still there. Missing no, still there. Betrayal, good item. Really top tier item. I don't know, man. Let's just reroll the whole run. Oh man, what a what a bop. Did we reroll our whole run? Yes, we did, because we got an elbow in our item tracker. Uh, wait, what just kills the lost wisp, huh? Not that I'm upset. It's a pretty good roll, man. Wafer, tears upgrade, sausage. It's not quite as good as boar gear. Still pretty good. The saucy mate, yeah! Well, I cook saucy's mate when it. I have to do it for you, mate. Oh, man. Last episode dedicated to the Australians. This episode dedicated to making fun of the Australians. <laughs> Reality is often disappointing. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Where were the minions when Thanos invaded, man? Were they still in their in their cave in the Russian Empire? I would like to lose missing no, please. I would like to lose missing no. Let's go! They were told not to help. They only intervene on cosmic level threats. The minions? Like from a game and you were watching them? I'm just trying to understand here. Secret room. Secret room. Curse room. 
Teleportation to Devil Deal. Teleportation to Devil Deal. Clip farming. Riddle me this, why didn't Captain Marvel just fly upwards as soon as she got the Infinity Glove? Oh, she was out of um, jump juice. They haven't talked about it. It's it's from the comics. Like, it looks like she can fly because she's like a, an Omega-level mutant uh, or whatever the bullshit is that they talk about. Um, but, like, she didn't have any flight juice. She still needs... Even Omega-level mutants still need some flight juice. GB bug. Jesse. <laughs> We have Keeper Sack still? Yep. Okay. I don't know. When we lose it, we might lose it. But for now, we got it. Is it possible that she just kind of forgot about the fact that she could fly? Like Daenerys forgot about the Iron Fleet? The glove? Yeah, the glove's too heavy. Exactly. I forget about things all the time, man. Like, sometimes I'll be, like, doing something, like a chore. And I'm like, oh, this is really hard. And Kate's like, why are you doing it like that? Why don't you just do it like a normal person? And then I'm like, oh, she's absolutely right. I should just do it like a normal person. Yeah, like the USB cable. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. she, Kate's laughing in the other room. I couldn't think of any specific examples, but... Sometimes I'll just hold things like a weirdo. And I'll be like, whoa, this thing's kind of hard to hold. And she's like, why don't you just like turn your hand around? And then I, I do it. In my head, I'm like, does she think I'm stupid? This will never work. Then I turn my hand around and it's just ten times easier to hold. And I'm like, oh, okay. She's absolutely right. <laughs> this is much easier. To... <laughs> you tried changing your duvet covers the new way yet? No, I, I, we'll probably change our sheets this weekend, I guess. Like, what is the... What was the, the duvet cover thing again? You turn it inside out, right? And then you just... Yeah, because before I was jumping in the duvet, it, it was like a Elon's uh, time mining rescue expedition. I was... You know, it was like this intro to Spelunky. You know, the caves... You hear the twisting of caves. How often do you change your sheets? I would say once every three weeks, probably. Catacombs one, good to go. Two to three weeks, probably, you know. I do it once a week, okay. Uh, have like an 11 month old child, that means you have 10 seconds of free time per day. Uh, and then you reach the point where like your chores actually become your leisure time because you only have the option to like choose whether to keep your place clean or alternatively to experience a little bit of relaxation and then sh tell me how often you clean your damn sheets Okay, hold on. There's there's HP back here I'm not joking. Man. Babies suck up a lot of free time. I don't even mean it in like a in a negative way. It's it's also like, you know, very fulfilling. But simultaneously, like, we'll reach a point. Like sometimes Kate will be like, "Oh, can you like look after her for like 30 minutes? I just need some me time." And then uh, I'm like, "Yeah, no problem." And then she vacuums. <laughs> it's just like what whatever you can get you're like oh my god finally i have like 10 seconds to think to myself and you're like what am i gonna do and i'm like clean the toilet that's how she goes man look at that beautiful Reused bit? I got a lot of reused bits, man. Like, there's not that much happening in my life now. I already talked about the lady who took 10 minutes to, like, you know, pick out a carrot at the grocery store. That's all true, by the way. It's Harrison Ford from The Force Awakens. It's all true. All of it. You shall not pass.
start telling them in installments so they last longer. It's a good idea. You also have to be careful as a new parent because like all this stuff that your child does is like super interesting to you. But if it's not uh, like your family, then nobody else like really cares that much. Not, they're not like against it, but if you're like, oh, my kid, like, they said like, gla today. Most people are like, eh. Talk about the restaurant with the QR codes. That's like every restaurant now. It's good. I, I, I like it. What do you want me to say? I got nothing else to say. I will say, made it delicious, a delicious, I repeat, delicious chicken and vegetable soup last night. Turned out fantastic. A simple mirepoix, celery, carrots, onions. Oh, I'm stupid. Um, chicken and banana. Was it delicious? It was fantastic. QR code from restaurants not putting the Wi-Fi on the sheet is bad. You know what? I've been looking for some stuff to get pissed off about. You're absolutely right. I just realized all these restaurants, I've been using my QR codes to get to their menus. I've been doing it on data. What's wrong with me? I've only got three gigabytes a month. Just scanning that QR code might be costing me like 75 cents. I got five? Dude, I'm, uh, you got five on it? Great song, by the way. Messing with that endo weed. That's me. I'm messing with that endo weed. All, constantly, dude. Constantly. Um, that's just Canada. Canada's telecoms are like... You know, basically just criminals. Whoops, that's not how you use that. Eyesore, more eyes. Oh, thank you. Real eyes, real eyes, real eyes. Can you name any head PE song that isn't Raise Hell? Uh, well, okay, hold on. There's one that goes, We raise hell, bitch. We raise hell, bitch. We raise hell, bitch. Mother frickin' hell, bitch. We don't give a frick. We don't give a frick. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not gonna repeat the other lyrics. They're just disgusting. Do they do it? Headstrong! I'll suck you off! Headstrong! I'll suck off anyone! Can you just open the door to give me a look? Like, what are you talking about? Did you like the did you like the USB comment though? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope they have a clip of that. It it did get clip. I didn't get to delete the VOD in time. <laughs> it's not you can't plug that USB into that USB port. Why? I don't know. Just try it. Fine. Oh, it works. <laughs> then you then you're like mad, but you gotta like acknowledge that you were wrong and someone else is right, and you're like Okay, sure, I guess you were right this time, or whatever. This USB doesn't fit in my USB port. It doesn't fit in my USB port! <laughs> and I said it does, try it. It's a huge save, too, to have this controller plugged in. Like, uh, honestly, we're on the road to Diamond in Rocket League now. Oh, you're you're gonna race me in league to? Yeah. Honestly, I. Your silver one. So silver one, gold four comes next. And then you gotta is diamond after gold. Uh, oh, you got so you got a ways to go. No, but not like diamond to diamond. Oh, you're gonna race me to diamond to you to gold? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I would bet on you in that case. What are we doing? We're just going to Blue Baby, right? Is that correct? Yes. If we're going to Blue Baby, I'm re-rolling this key piece because we got the chance. 
It'll also reroll the sun card, but whatever. I didn't. Have, I didn't. I was gonna keep that one just between you and me, but I guess. <laughs> Roka. So. It is. I do appreciate it. Thank you. I can't believe they threw up in my shoe. Like, why are they mad at me? I feed them every night. <laughs> don't don't shit in the shoes of the hand that feeds. I believe is the quote. Um, but uh, what was okay, okay? So here's what happened. All right, Kate. Uh, usually I go. I I get into bed at like ten thirty, and uh, Kate plays a little bit of League of Legends, and she comes to bed maybe around 11, right? Two nights ago, I'm not gonna deny it, it's natural. Don't body shame me. I was gassy. What's next, a license to break wind in my own bedroom? So I farted a couple of times, maybe a couple dozen times, because I had to. It wasn't like, oh, it's so much pleasure, like I'm just ripping them. I was like, I wanna get them out there right now so I don't have to do it when Kate's in the room. I don't take pride in in my flatulence like a lot of, of a lot of men who are like, well, we're married. Now I don't have to hold in my farts anymore. I'm like, I still try not to inconvenience anybody else with like the noxious gas that escapes from my gastrointestinal tract. <laughs> so I farted many times, thought I was in the clear. Ten minutes later, Kate walked into the room and said, it smells like someone was making eggs in here and then i just looked at her and i said oh and i i <laughs> i really thought this was gonna work i said oh were you making eggs <laughs> and dad uh, i really thought that was gonna get her i did i thought she was gonna be stun locked but, oh 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 <laughs> um then she said no did you fart and uh, I tried to say no, but I was smiling too wide. So she figured me out. I, I feel like chat knows. I'm not a good liar. Like in games like uh, uh, like Secret Hitler and stuff like that, I always got sussed out. And it's even worse because I would, especially Apollo, like I would suss out that he's uh, like the, he's uh, the Fuhrer. But then people wouldn't believe me. He, he would just appeal to emotion. Like, oh, no, you're going to believe this guy? You're going to believe this guy. And then everybody else in the call was like, wow, so true. I was about to believe this guy. And I'm just like, please, please divorce your emotion from the situation and just listen to the content of my words instead of who's saying it. And they're like, nope, vote for vote him, vote him. Okay, I'll vote him. Is yeah, like somehow I'm terrible at telling the damn truth. You've heard of, you've heard of bad liars. Have you ever heard of like somebody who's bad at t telling the truth? Don't oh, don't even get me started on Project Winter, man. It's fun times though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, people they don't see me as being sincere because my voice sounds like this. On a scale of Sean Evans hot wing sauces, what wing sauce do you think would be too hot for you? Uh, well, it depends what you mean by too hot. I genuinely believe I could survive hot ones. Like, I, I think I would... I'm not going to be like, oh, it's no big deal. But I, I think I would not tap out before the end of it. Um, but, I mean, in terms of, like, what's too spicy, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I've ever had, like, if, if I've ever had any nuclear-level hot sauces. Order the last dab and stream it. Look, I love watching content like that. I wouldn't do it, though, because it just seems like, uh, whoops, mom's underwear. It just seems like a good way to, uh, ruin the next day like it seems like a good way to be like spiced up for a day and then like the next day have to take the day off streaming because i'd be on the toilet praying for death 
I wouldn't mind, especially now that I'm cooking more, though. I don't know if I would ever do, like, a cooking stream, but I'm, like, genuinely thinking about, thinking about how a streamer chopped could be done. And I, like, I've gone as far as, like, Googling, like, kitchens where you can film, like, in, in Vancouver, because we got a lot of, like, media production that happens here. You can, some, some restaurants will, like, allow you to rent out their kitchen for filming and stuff like that. And, and then there's, like, cooking studios, but to be honest, I looked into them. And a lot of them are just like literally, it's just like an Airbnb that you can film in, and it's like a thousand dollars a day, but it's just like a one bedroom condo kitchen. And I'm like, you can't do chopped there. You gotta have like at least, I, at least two stations, but. No, I would, uh, I would definitely. Here's the thing people, people are saying like you're too cheap to pay for it. For the content, I would pay for it for one, but also like. I think if we made an event like this, we we could definitely get a sponsor to pay for it. Would it have to be uh, Coinbase? It might, but you know, sometimes the, the juice is worth the squeeze. Hello, Fresh. Don't talk to me. I don't take sponsors that go against my morals. Except Coinbase, maybe. <laughs> Um, hold on. 50% chance? What the? Did we already get our 30 cents? How long have we been here? I honestly thought we had played it like two times. 84, it's been 84 years. You just picked it up? That's because I was talking about Chopped. Anyway. I'm just saying. I, I, I think it's doable. I do still, like, I, I'm, I'm dragging my heels on it for, like, obvious reasons. The big one is that, like, it's a lot of work. Another one is that, uh, you know, thanks to COVID, I don't really want to try to, like, you know, rustle up a cast or anything like that just yet. And I'm sure a lot of people would be interested, but... But it's still, I'm thinking about thinking about it. I wouldn't want to participate, though. I would want to be a judge. And I would want to invite people who are not good at cooking. <laughs> Predominantly, I would want to invite people who opened up a basket and went like, what the hell is going on in here? They'll be like, what is, what is this? And I'll be like, oh, that's a radish. <laughs> They'll be like, what do I do with this? That's what I'm looking for. It would actually be fun to just give a basket that's like a, a frozen pizza and then be like, you have 30 minutes and just see what happens. <laughs> I, I bet you'd end up with some funny stuff. I'm doing it, man. We need the HP. Oh, anyway, streamer chopped. I'm planning a bachelor party. Any ideas? Just to be honest, like... Uh, I didn't have a bachelor party, and I, um, I mean, I think, it, here's my agnostic advice for a bachelor party. I think, um, you should just do whatever you want to do. And I know that sounds very forehead type advice. But, like, I would never want to do a batch. I, like, the, the movie bachelor party, where you get, like, you know, you go to a strip club and then get, like, insanely hammered or something like that. Just seems like a recipe for, like, hating your wedding night or your wedding day. Like, don't you just end up being, like, insanely hungover for the ceremony? That just sounds horrible. Like, use your brain. But, uh, you know, to go to, yeah, a barcade or something, that sounds like a, like a cool time. Maybe you like board games or something like that. More power to you. I've never even been to a bachelor party, to be honest. I have, like, one married friend. <laughs> I'm realizing now. But, uh... Josh did it right. I think it, he had a bachelor party, but I think it was, like, a week before or something. So, which is intelligent, you know? It wasn't the night of. 
or the, the night before. Um, but I will say one time, this is a real story again, and it sounds like it happened to a different person because I was a different person 13 years ago. But okay, again, if you're from Kingston, Ontario, don't listen to this because this is not information that you're allowed to have, okay? In downtown Kingston, there's like a little alley you can go into that's between several rest restaurants. It has a fire escape that if you have a boost, you could send somebody up to the fire escape. They could use their weight to pull the fire escape down, and then you can climb up on top of roofs in downtown Kingston. Really sneaky place to go, really cool place. You got like new people or something, like new friends you want to impress them. You take them to the cool rooftop and be like, check this out. It's our own like little secret hideout. Anyway, one time I was up there with a few friends of mine. Um, I don't, and you know, we were heavily under the influence at the time. I don't really remember uh, how I ended up being alone on the roof. But I do remember that there were like tenants in the buildings that were like, because the roof is lower and then there's like windows to other apartments that are like around it that are taller. And uh, there was somebody was like, who's out there on that roof? I'm going to kick your ass. Like when I find out who's on that roof, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Not something you want to hear, right? So I decided this is a problem you got to take head on. As I was descending from the roof, I saw them and I said, excuse me, excuse me. And they said, yeah. And I said, hey, it's my bachelor party. My friends blindfolded me and like led me up here. I'm just trying to find my way down. And they were like, oh yeah, dude, no problem. Like you could just take this staircase right here. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. And then I, I just bolted after that. God damn. <laughs> speech 100. One of the very few times in my life I think I speech 100 it. Anyway, so that's my advice. is lie, For your bachelor party, lie and say it's your bachelor party so you don't get beaten up. Is that relevant? Not really, okay. Sure, fair enough. Understandable. Have a nice day. My bad. Deal with the angel. We're going to Blue Baby! Blue Baby. We should void this. This is where you use all your HP. All, all two opportunities to use your HP. Void, wait, what? But also void the key piece we're about to get. Didn't you get 99.3 on verbal memory in the human benchmark test? Why, thank you for the reminder. I did indeed. <laughs> no key piece? Three point four three damage, kind of insulting. Yes, I I agree. Like, what what's up with that, man? Especially because we have the sausage. Look at that. Was the hangover based on you? No, I didn't fall asleep on the roof and then end up with a terrible sunburn. We would just go up there and be like, "Look, we're up here." That's pretty much it. Didn't really cause any problems. Dudes love climbing stuff. It's true, I'm not even like a big climber. And even I was like, dude, you wanna go to the roof? <laughs> it felt like a little secret. Like it should play the Zelda music when you go up there. Oh, in all seriousness though, they gotta like uh, really like gate that stuff off. Cause like if they don't, um, like somebody's gonna get hammered, go up there and die, for sure. There, but for the grace of God, go I. 
But I was, I'm always, like, I've always been risk averse with this sort of stuff. Sometimes you would go up there with people and they'd be like, Hey, do you guys ever consider jumping to the roof, like, across from us? And I'm like, let's just not... Look, we're all having a great night. Let's not risk having, uh, like, a life-changing or ending traumatic experience that everybody's going to be involved with. Let's just chill, man. Just, just have some McClays. We already did a dumb thing by getting up here. Let's not do the dumbest thing. What if you made it, though? Well, you would be legends. Of course. We could be heroes. We might as well use it when we get it. I mean, I haven't been doing this that well. You'd also be a legend if you didn't make it. That's true. Anyone here from Kingston, Ontario? There was another... My... My engineering friends, again, like, engineering's like a strange cult in and of itself. But, you know, for your senior year in engineering, you're supposed to do, like, a class prank. I think you're supposed to do it in your senior year of high school, but everybody involved was a super nerd. So I think that they were like, you know, they didn't get that experience in high school, so instead they turned it into a university experience. Um, they, they were, they never did it. But I believe they were planning on stealing the sign for a local restaurant called the Grizzly Grill, which is just an enormous uh, bear head. It's, it's probably like a four foot high, two foot wide plastic grizzly bear. What's the joke? I don't know. I guess the joke is you could display it like on a statue on campus or something like that. You gotta, that'd be pretty funny. If you were walking through the quad, I don't even know what that means. Uh, if you were walking through the quad and you saw you saw like a big old grizzly bear head, you'd be like, "Whoa, dude!" What's that? They'd get it back, probably. I mean, it's not it was not a big town. You can't really hide like an enormous grizzly bear head. And you'd be like, "Oh, that's we made it." <laughs> The restaurant's called the Grizzly Grill. Mr. Dolly. Can I just get like a... A damage upgrade? Just a, a wafer thin damage upgrade? Owned. Please, please. You already have the wafer? Good one. That last time I heard that I fell off my dinosaur. Excuse me, where's my forget me now? I was promised to forget me now. And where's my flying car? By the way, in case you want like a, a little bit of a, uh, a, a look into the cosmopolitan world of Vancouver, I was walking around yesterday, as one is wont to do. Um, somebody on the bike path beside me, they were coming like from the opposite direction so I could see them. They were on a unicycle going faster than just about any cyclist I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was like, wow, that's really impressive. And then when they passed me, I saw that they were wearing a shirt that said Hugs Over Masks, which is like the prominent anti-mask protest group in, <laughs> in Canada, I guess. It's not just Vancouver. It was just like, it was like 15 anecdotes went by me at exactly the same time. And I was just like, you know, you know, this is the place where I want to grow up and fulfill my dreams. This is the time that I want to be Vancouver. Okay, wait, we're getting out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just 
an interesting time for sure. Oh god, we can go infinite. I don't think so. I think it only works once. He can hit the high C all night long. Paul Bufano! I realize that's what I sound like during crossword puzzles now. Played the he did the voice of the Roadrunner. Beep beep. Mel Blanc. Come on, Mel Blanc! You don't know that? We learned that on the night where I told you my USB port didn't work like a normal USB port and you said it definitely does and I said that's why you'll never be a good writer because you don't have a curious mind. I'm just like, can I be honest with you? I'm just done with this run. Like I just don't know what I'm... Like why am I still playing this run? Like just... I'm ready for it to be over. Sure, why not? You know what we can do? We can play the crap out of this guy right here. I'm gonna play the crap out of you. Excuse me, where's my Lemmington charges? My Lemmington charges? What's next? Crosswords. Oh, baby. Who TF is on the right? That's Robin, baby, man. He's cool. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just like, this run is like, we're gonna win. But I feel compelled to like, do as much as possible to get there. It's just gonna take a while. That's fine. Give me Rodden, baby, please. This is not Dan strats. I, I was losing my mind watching Dan play. And, like, he, he got Tech X and his face showed no emotion. Then he got a blood bag that took him from four red heart containers to five red heart containers. And he, would like, lost his mind. I was like, this guy, he's out, am I? Who's NL's favorite One Direction member? Zane. Excuse me. You're bringing up bad memories. Zane is not in One Direction anymore. He went solo. Funny joke. Doesn't make any damn sense, but funny joke, I guess. Owens. Um, none of them are in One Direction anymore. What about Neil? Spelled... N-I-A-L-L -L for some reason. Is he still in there? Is that not how it's... It's not Neil? That's not how it's pronounced? Neal? <laughs> authentic, authentic Bulgarian Miak? It's pronounced Nile? English people be like... Hey, English, I brought you into this world. I can take you out of it, too. Doesn't make any damn sense. How is N-I-A-L-L -L pronounced Nile? He's Irish? Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Not, that notwithstanding, my, I reiterate my point. <laughs> I thought One Direction were all British. Ooh. It's just a is an Irish name? English band Irish name? That's the Ed Sheeran band? Everything's covered in something brand new. I'm in love with your body. I, I'm trying to think, okay. One Direction. Zayn Malik. Harry Styles. Niall, of course, my favorite member. Um, hold on, I'm not, I'm not glancing. I, it's weird, I can't picture what their faces look like, but I do see them in my head. Wearing like a light blue, uh, old navy 
button up shirt, but it's not buttoned up. And then they got like a white crew neck t-shirt underneath and boot cut jeans. Is that true? And they're going, the story of my life, I'll take her home, i drive all night to keep her warm and time. Is fucking frozen. The story of, the story of, the story of. Something like that. I cannot name the other members of One Direction. Yes, I just, I simply do not know. Why'd you add the F word? <laughs> Wait a minute, was Nick Jonas part of One Direction? I didn't add the F word, they added that. You gotta take that up with your heroes, okay? Never meet them. They'll just disappoint you or something. Nick Jonas, Joe Jonas, and the other Jonas, I believe, are the other three members of One Direction. I mean, can you blame me? When I hear when I hear One Direction, I also move in One Direction <laughs> away <laughs> from the speaker. <laughs> it's like when you say Xbox 360. When you yeah, because when you see it, you turn 360 degrees and walk away. Oh, man. Blue baby. Man, this run is garbage, huh? Three sixty would be towards it. Not if you moonwalked. I forgot some of you guys aren't cool. Can you just, like, give me a good item so you, like, be over? Like, this run is over? It's just insubordinate and churlish. And or churlish. I'm not done with Isaac. I'm just like, dude, like, just... Just be good. Like, why is my damage so bad when I got so many great items? It doesn't make any sense. Remember when Giant Enemy Crab and Ridge Racer were hot memes? Dude, you, you telling me you don't watch uh, E3 2005 Sony press conference video supercut every two weeks on YouTube? Hit his weak point for massive damage. 599 US dollars. Ridge Racer! You know what? There's been a lot of great E3 memes over the years. In all seriousness, we have fun here. Um, but I like... Uh, my favorite E3 meme is when... I, I, isn't it the Wii Music uh, performance? Where the guy is on stage and he goes... And he jumps and turns around when he does it. Like, that's actually so good. That's the Peggle 2 announcement. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. The, the Wii music performance. Oh, it's the guy with the, like, the extremely mid-2000s super gelled hair playing the fake drums, right? That sounds right. Developers, 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 developers. Oh, man. I love a good, bad press conference. Yoink. But we can admit now, right? Like, nobody actually gives a shit about Ridge Racer at all. Right? Like, if you agree with me, right? Right? If you don't agree with me, then I'm sorry I said it. It just kind of slipped out. Old people do? I don't know. Like, I'm old. I don't care about Ridge Racer. 
You want me to play Ridge Racer? It's very simple. Make it start with Rolling Start. Rolling Start. <laughs> Sorry, I lost it a little bit there. And then this is running low on the batteries. Daytona, Kona. <laughs> Bro, let me out, dude. Look at that dodge. Wait, how does the Super Mario 64 file select music go again? Do do do. That don't get do do do. Do, 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 do. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's right. Do, 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 do. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't leave, don't leave. <laughs> oh, dude, come on, come on. It's horrible. I apologize. Okay, that's enough. This, we're not letting it go that long this time. Fits perfectly. <laughs> Source dude, just trust me. 200 people dipped? Weak. Go watch the same six people do the same fucking thing in Dead by Daylight. I'd like to apologize for my actions yesterday. I should not have live remixed the song. And they made fun of my own audience who treats me as a comfort streamer. I apologize. But today, I don't apologize. I'll apologize for today, tomorrow. But I can't apologize for today, today, because I'm too busy apologizing for yesterday right now. I can't believe I had, I had two and a half hours of stream left, man. <laughs> I got 4.02 damage! I got the strongest items in the game! How does this even happen? I'm being honest with you. I can't remember the name of any instrumental song. I can remember the tune once I hear it. And any song with lyrics, especially if they name the song in the lyrics, which happens sometimes, sometimes it doesn't happen, I can remember it. But like otherwise, like I, I, I know like f the names of four pieces of classical music. Okay, there's a couple I know. Okay. Cliffs of Dover. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry, I'm just not sorry. I'm not sorry. Just whatever, dude. I'm I'm done with this shit. Suck it up. They bow bow. That song is that song has lyrics. It says the name of the song. They say, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great baseline, absolutely. You know they have a count Basie. Have they have they invented count trebly yet? Always wondering. Count Basie be like unforgettable. That's what you are. Count trebly be like. Did it 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 Oh my god, what a rip, man. That was a unanimous minus two. 
Those are minus twos that people are laughing at, though. I'm not even sweating it. Like, those those are like, that's so not funny, I have to laugh. What happened to my freaking sword there? I can't believe we're going to do crossword puzzles after this. I got to be just about the dumbest genius on this website. Mmm. Is there an online Jeopardy? I my voice cracked. That's how you can tell I was excited. Is there an online Jeopardy? Like, I, I'm not asking for online trivia, okay? I know online trivia. But is there an online Jeopardy? Not even to play against other people, but I want to do trivia practice. It plays to my strengths. But I don't want to do Sporkle. I mean, I don't have anything against Sporkle, but I'd prefer to have categories selected not by me because on Sporkle, it's too easy to just be like, 90s movies! Look who's talking three. Baby geniuses. Phenomenon. Powder. You know? It's just too easy. I need, I need Jeopardy so that it could be like a Renaissance painters and I'll be like Vermeer and then skip the next four questions. Why not Tower Unite? Well, because I'm not planning on going to uh, JoJo's Bizarre Trivia Adventure and uh, being asked to name the 17th episode from Yu Yu Hakusho. Capricorn! Capricorn and I'll be alright. I don't even have words to say. Like I don't, I don't have. I don't even. Jeopardy Labs. Okay, we could we could look at Jeopardy Labs. I'll be at the roundabout. I'm playing through Psychonauts too. There's a can of corn reference. Oh man, let's go, dude. If you actually like, uh, if you tell that to Mouth. He'll, his heart will be warmed. He's he's a big Schaefer head. My God, an actual damage upgrade. Oh, look at the size of this thing! Babe, come over. I can't. My parents aren't home. <laughs> I don't know why it's going white and red over and over, but. Or maybe I do and I just don't want to say. What a shot. Tomato? Ah, so true. Many people are saying this. This run is actually good now. I've decided I'm ashamed of my words and my deeds. You think there's anybody out there that listens to the Mad TV theme song for fun? They're like, pass me the aux cord, okay, but you better not play the Mad TV theme song. Skirt! You are now watching Mad TV. Mad! Nope, I agree. Probably none. I'm a solipsist. I don't think there's anybody out there at all. Uh, 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 the real Pink Floyd enjoyers have logged on. Hey, isn't there anybody in there? All right, easy win. One of the easiest wins of my life. Did permanent psychological damage, but that is Casino 3 complete. And choose outcome. Believers win again, streak intact. We'll be coming back.